And to reward myself, I can sniff my fingertips. They smell like garlic. That's a strange level name. She certainly has a... a lot of junk here. You're telling me this factory just outputs junk though? That's just what it puts out? Not like his waste product junk, but its end goal is junk? It's even more wasteful than American consumerism. Wait, hold on, there might be a secret over this way. Probably not, there's not. I take it that's the junk factory in the background there. Oh, perhaps this whole thing is the junk factory. Well, this is a strange device up here. Will it open the door somehow? I see that it will. But, oh, but only for a limited time. That actually is a pretty strong security precaution. I wouldn't think it'd be necessary if all they make here is junk. Or maybe it's just that, from Kirby's perspective, it seems like all they make is junk. In any case, this is a pretty big area we're in here. And this is some pretty dramatic music, too. I've, I haven't been saying much, because I almost hate to interrupt it. Or is a key. Oh! Oh, good! We got a key! To what, I'm not sure. Oh, wow, we got a lot of ink back just by bouncing on the spring pad. And there's another key. Are we going to need a series of keys to open a door up ahead? Probably. Uh, oh, oh, well, what is, oh yeah, that's what it is. We're gonna need a series of keys. Well, that would explain why the area is so big. Well, how do we get this key? Uh, oh, I see, this is going to be very easy to get, actually. Hello, Mr. Ball Baron. There we go. Well, I suppose that... Glacia's henchmen shouldn't have left that ball bearing sitting there. That really big ball bearing. I'd like to get some pizza, because we're gonna need a hundred stars if we're gonna if we're gonna, you know, get in there and get that treasure. Oh. I like that there are stars appearing here. You'd think that the junk factory would be a little less welcoming to the enemy, but nah. They got some good stuff here, what can I say? What's up here? Even more stars! Why, thank you, thank you. I do like getting more stars. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, sometime this mechanic is annoying. For example, at the end of levels when you're, when you're trying to get the diary entries. But, for the most part, I kinda like this star mechanic. Perhaps they could have implemented it some other way, although how exactly they would have is, uh, Something I'm not quite sure of, but I'm sure that somebody uh, could think of something. Oh, in any case, I got the treasure. Even if I'm just about out of ink, it's already back. That's certainly something they carried over from Canvas Curse. Although, to be honest, I don't really remember Canvas Curse that well. It's been so many years. I gotta... I mean, this is kind of giving me flashbacks to it, though. I'm beginning to remember things from and about Canvas Curse that I would have forgotten otherwise. You ever have that happen? It's not like you basically have forgotten the information. It's just that, uh, in, in, in for, for whatever reason, when you do something that's similar to it, or that relates to it, you begin remembering it again. Okay, this... Looks like there actually might be a mild... Oh! Yeah, there's gonna be a mild challenge this time. Well, there's no way I'm gonna make it, because that line I drew bounced Kirby back. Alright, Kirby, go, go! Okay. 
I might have to go into um, uh, the star power mode. Honestly. There we go. Made it. Good job, Kirby. Nice work. I mean, I understand it's me. It's Aileen who's doing all the work here. Well, you're doing the physical labor, at least. Or wait, I guess she is, too. Because, like, her whole body's a paintbrush. Oh, well. Now is not the time to, to argue. We're almost at Clacia's front door, so to speak. This is so inviting, I almost suspect it's a trap. Oh! No! Well, you know, whatever. Forget it. Who needs those stars, huh? Oh, there are more of them. Well, these are some uh, strange-looking creatures. I remember from back when there was a Kirby game being developed on GameCube, even though it didn't quite end up uh, happening, that uh, I remember that... Uh, oh, I see what I gotta do. No! This way! I remember that uh, a number of... Uh, at least one of them showed a very dark factory area, which of course we now know is Halkandra. But we didn't know that at the time, and I just think that this dark factory area reminds me a little bit of that. Granted, this isn't nearly serious, sir. Granted, this isn't nearly spooky enough, but... And look at all these blob people. They're shaped a little bit like pawns in a game of chess. Maybe it's symbolic. It's supposed to show us what Clacia thinks of them, even though they are, in a very real sense, her own children. About ready? About ready to go? We're about ready to go. Made it. Okay, this time, though, we're gonna have to go on top of some spikes. That's fine, okay? You know, that, that's that's A-OK. -okay. To go on top of some spikes every now and then. Get it, stars! Get all the stars! Okay. That's enough stars. It's enough, it's enough stars, I say. What's next, Glacia? More of your purple clay lumps? I have to say, these aren't your best work. In fact, they're kinda ugly. Oh, well, Glacia. I don't mind that they're kinda ugly. I understand that you really did put a lot of effort into them, I'm sure. Oh, well, that was fun while it lasted. But now we better be on our way through this pipe that looks like it's from, uh, Super Mario 3D World. Oh, there are quite a few of these things. These electrical clay lumps. Um, sure. I'll take this path if you want me to. I can do that. There you go. Uh, how are we gonna get to that treasure chest, you think? Oh. This isn't going to be so hard. Not going to be so hard at all. And right into the bell at that! Now that was a good run. You see, Kirby, we really did good that time. Did the bell just explode again? That's kind of odd. Normally, things only explode once. You don't get many other chances to explode when you're most things. Hmm... This is a very impractical security device. I mean, don't get me wrong, if your goal, I guess, is to keep Kirby out, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good design. But if your goal is to, you know, have a factory that your own workers and you yourself can get through, it strikes me as being a very bad design. Now that I think of it, though, Placia has a lot of flying henchmen, too, so maybe it's not such a bad design after all. all right, Kirby, there you go. We're gonna go over, we're gonna go around, we're gonna get all of the puzzle pieces right down to this one. There we go. That wasn't so bad. This puzzle piece challenge in the volcano levels was way harder. 
All right, Kirby, here we go. Kirby, go. Here we go, Kirby, Kirby. Here we, we didn't get that one. That's fine, though, Kirby. That's fine. Can't all be perfect. You know, if I just charged ahead, I think I would have gotten all of those. Look at that stack. Look at that mountain of TVs there. Just broken screens flickering with meaningless images. Well, you know, maybe... Maybe a lot of the screens flicker with nothing but meaningless images, huh? Of course, if your screen's flickering, there's probably a problem with it. This is the best that Clay she has to throw at us. We'll be fine. We will be fine. I just need to get... There. We got it. Ah, Kirby's little dance. Will it ever get old? Ellen, chest number one. Wow, that's a pretty elaborate one. Chest number two. Oh, more mass attack music. Carrying on the mass attack theme, I guess. One of those strange things. Chef Kawasaki! Oh, man! It's great to see you, Kawasaki. I know that you're not the best chef, but I like you anyway. And something from Kirby64. Wonder what? Let's go find out. But first, figurines. I know I usually do the music first, but I feel like these are a lot of figurines, and I'm pretty excited about them. Let's take a look at the uh, mystery purple thing first. That's a shock creepa. That's kind of a corny name. I never was a very big fan of the sort of corny, punny kind of enemy names, even though I know they're pretty common. It has that, uh, expression that Cappies have, or that Wispy Woods has, or that any number of things in the Kirby games have, or in Japanese media in general. That expression's actually based off of these ancient statues that are, uh, uh thought to have been put on burial mounds to contain the souls of the dead or something. I forget what they're called, those little statues. They're interesting looking things. A lot of Japan's prehistory is pretty neat, though. These unusual creatures can store energy in the form of electricity, which is a pretty amazing thing. But all they do is creep around aimlessly, and that is a complete waste of time and energy. What a tragedy. There's Kawasaki. Chef Kawasaki has a busy schedule, so he's only appearing in this game as a figurine. He rarely uses his frying pan and ladle to do any real cooking. He finds they actually work better as weapons. What? You kidding me? Every time he appears, he cooks with those frying pans. That's, that's what he does. He cooks things. Well, he didn't in Kirby's Dream Land 3. In that game, he just whacked Gordos with them, because I guess he really likes the sound of a Gordo's body resounding with metal collision. Yeah. Let's see what this set piece is. Fearful Grab Hand. Looks like Grab Hand is trying to get a hold of Kirby. No one wants to see Kirby dragged off to who knows where, so it's up to Waddle Dee to use his spear and save the day. Hurry up and save... Hurry up and save Kirby, Waddle Dee! Ah, uh, Waddle Dee. He'll do it. He'll pull it off. I gotta say, I do like these little sort of... 3D models. These are basically... This is interesting. We're at a point where we're making little sculptures like this, but instead of being physical concrete objects, they are digital sculptures. Of course, I know there are artists who actually as artists, rather than just as incidentally because they're making a video game and want to show a pretty picture, design sculptures and, and with computer graphics, but it's not something I usually think about. It is kind of a uh, neat development, though, I guess. You can really see all the angles of it, and it really does look fantastically clay-y. I remember I used to work with clay a little bit when I was little, but eh, it didn't quite do it for me. I much prefer drawing. Uh, oh, and here is uh, the revenge of Clayken. The Clayken lost his underwater ba the Clayken lost his underwater battle with Kirby, so he upped his game by becoming lava proof. But then Kirby beat him again, so he's probably just thinking maybe he's just not cut out to be a boss. Man, 
I'm sorry you feel that way, Clayton. Th though, what am I saying? No, I'm not. Being a boss is bad. You should come hang out with us sometime, Clayton. I understand you're a tough old warrior sailor guy, but that doesn't mean you can't, you know, come enjoy a good piece of strawberry shortcake with Kirby. If you're confident in your masculinity, you would not feel the any concern about doing something like drinking tea daintily, because you'd be confident that you're still a super manly guy, Clayton. See you around, McCully Clayton. And I think that's all. That's it with the sculptures. Music. Okay. Oh, man, I mean, I'm probably never gonna get track number five. I mean, I know I could go back and get it, but I probably will not do that. If you want it, though, you can, you know, get the game yourself. It's pretty fun. Gulpy Ghost. I really need to play Mass Attack again. I don't remember it. I really don't remember it. This one, though, is a series mainstay. This is a really good version of this one. Let's check out Volcanic Panic, though. Yeah. This is the kind of heightened sense of adventure that I uh, expect to get out of a Kirby game sooner or later. I suppose this one is particularly pleasant to me because of the use of piano at the beginning there. I don't know why exactly, but the um, uh, uh, lava landing from the soundtrack of Kirby, Kirby's Epic Yarn, is one of my all-time favorites from this series. And of course, it was a piano music associated with lava too. Well, you wouldn't think you'd get many of those. I feel like it's an unusual combination, but one that apparently is very effective to me. Any more hot takes for us? I tell you, Aileen is such a nice girl. Why, oh, Junk TV. Also known as All TV. This is what's playing on the junky old TV. Well, we have a drama about that old gunslinger for hire. Oh, a comedy. Pon and Con are doing comedy now. Nice to see that they're moving up in the world. I was afraid that Pon and Con were still living as homeless people. You know, vagrants. But I see now that they're becoming celebrities. Good for them. They're really bouncing back from uh, the Dark Matter days. And uh, I see that today's weather is 
stormy on the west point of Popstar, and very sunny on the right, or east point of Popstar. I'm not going to even try and imagine how the weather would work on a celestial body of that shape. And see, they just said Kawasaki doesn't do much cooking. But there he is cooking. Well, y you know what? I'm at least glad that, uh, Placia has good taste in television. Well, uh, I guess we'll be on our way then. By the way, if you're wondering how I'm able to navigate through some of these screens, there are arrows and back buttons and other cues that only show up on the gamepad. So, in the case you were ever wondering. Kirby and Kirby? Aileen, I'm just gonna assume that this place was a lot nicer back when you were living here with Glacia. Maybe one of the first stages of the... Maybe one of the first signs of how things were deteriorating was that Clacia began to hoard all of this trash. But anyway, there's only one Kirby. How can we have Kirby and Kirby? Unless it's Batamon. I don't think we're gonna see Batamon again. Oh! Now there was a secret if ever I've seen a secret. Well, okay. Guess we're gonna go through another, uh, Super Mario 3D World pipe. Personally, I prefer this game to Super Mario 3D World, though I recognize it's probably actually worse. What? Well, uh... I see that... we're somehow able to... clone Kirby. I would think that this is the opposite of what Clacio would want to do, but... Sure, okay. Okay, this is gonna get pretty crazy here, but sure. So are we sharing a common star supply? I guess so. I guess so. Now, I have to admit, there was nothing quite like this back in, um, uh... Uh, Kirby Canvas Curse. Personally, I don't think I would have thought of this level. I mean, it seems pretty simple and obvious, like, well, yeah, well, how would you not think of such a, you know, simple level idea? But I really don't think I would have thought of it. There we go. No, no! Don't get, don't ram in, don't ram your head into it there. That's not what you should do there, Kirby. I see the other Kirby on the bottom just happened to be rolling the right way, too. Keep up the good work there, Kirby. Man, Aileen really has her work cut out for her, dealing with two Kirbys like this. One's already quite a lot of trouble. Man, if there were two Kirbys, you, none of these bad guys would stand any chance. I mean, just think about that. Y you know, all it took was one Kirby to, um, uh, totally defeat Dark Matter. Dark Matter. Or think, well, actually, then again, back in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, there were four Kirbys, and they didn't really do, uh, much more against Dark Mind than just one of them would have been able to. So, who knows? Get up there. There we go. Alright, now he's got to ram a few buttons. Can do. Oh, no, no. There we go. No! Go this way! Go this way! There we go. Oh, what's this? It's gonna make some stars appear, right? We're absolutely right. I'm sorry that you got hurt by Bronto Bert there. Okay, Kirby. I don't know, are you guys like sharing a consciousness or something? Maybe it's best not to think about these things. Aileen is kind of wondering what's going through Kirby's head. Like all people, she can never really know for sure what the other person thinks. Oh, what's a sore are? Aren't you a uh, sight for sore eyes? <laughs> Sorry, I really was. Oh, I see. They're cut off between a barrier. I didn't realize that, actually. Well, 
Alright, I guess the, the two Kirbys are destined never to meet. That's a shame. It would have been nice if they could get to be buddies. I mean, Kirby's always out in the market for friends. He's always on the friend market. Oh! Quick, hit the button! You can push the button. So? So. When you push the button, two things will happen. First, someone whom you do not know will die. You're kidding. There we go. That was close. And this is, things are about to get pretty intense. Things are about to get pretty intense. <gasps> they meet! That which cannot happen has happened. Man, I, I'm just expecting like the, the space-time continuum to start going crazy or something. You know? Bounce around! Come on! Oh man! That was pretty crazy. I'm gonna knock. I'm not gonna lie. And things are gonna keep being pretty crazy here. Well, you know, it's like I always say, Kirby can really take a lot of a lot of punishment. Guys, guys, keep going. We need to smash through all these blocks before we begin getting really badly hurt. Okay? No, 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 no. There we go. There we go. Okay. Come on. Okay. There, there we go. We're gonna be able to. Okay. Okay. Get, get up there. Get up there. Good. 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 We're good. We're getting. We're going places now, Kirby. Kirby. We should probably not be both on the same side. You know what? That's fine, because we're going to smash through this giant block in the middle. Okay, I thought that we were about to come across a more permanent barrier. Although I suppose I should know that there's no such thing as permanence in this world. All things are fleeting. Get the, get the other star! Oh, there we go. We got at least a few of these stars, right? Absolutely. Look at all these Sorars! Aren't they a sight for for sore arts. I don't believe anyone would argue that the sore arts are a sight for sore arts. Really, I mean, maybe to the sore arts, those are some really, you know, really like handsome sore arts up there. Could be. What, what do you know about what the sore arts consider handsome? Because I can assure you that I don't. This is good. With two Kirby's. Well, there are two Kirby's, but only one alien. So who knows? Uh, so who knows whether whether we really stand more of a chance with two of them than with one of them? There we go. Oh, oh, well, that didn't quite go how I meant it to. It went pretty well, I think. I assume you can't both go up the same pipe. I assume correctly. Still though. We best keep in mind those ominously swirling nebulas that constitute this place's background. I guess being turned into clay makes Kirby a little more uh, malleable, so to speak. Oh, what are you doing in here? Oh, wow! Okay, guys, go, go, go. Okay. There we go. Ah, that was a good one. It was a little simple, but I could play a whole game, I think, built around the uh, bouncing multiple Kirbys into each other concept. But I would prefer it if it weren't all Kirbys, but were maybe Kirby and some allies? That's some kind of strange music. Sounds like something you hear in the Kirby anime, actually. Well... We're gonna waste a, another bit of star power, but that's fine. We wouldn't have used it up anyway, now would we? Of course not. Okay. There we go, Kirby. Just go up here. Go up here till you get the, uh, the book. Kirby! No! Die! <sighs> oh, give me a bloody gold medal at a time like this. Yeah, yeah, you got your chest. <laughs> I don't even care. 
Who cares? Let's keep going. Nope. We're gonna get that diary entry, okay? We're gonna get the bloody diary entry. This would have been a perfect run if it weren't for that detail. Well, sorry guys, we're gonna, gonna go get the diary. Notice that throughout the level, they keep introducing new mechanics to us. Like here, where we discover that one of the Kirby's can send the others, uh, can send the other one ricocheting around. And the fact is that this is only probably something we're going to encounter in this one level. So it's interesting, and I think is a real mark of quality that they would take the time to develop all of these, uh, unique mechanics just for this, uh, one level. The fact that they have not totally drained, um, of the, uh, situation of all risk, so that there's still uh, an element, for example, of, um, uh, uh, of danger of getting smashed against the walls, say, I think is, uh, you know, more, uh, good design. Because the fact that there is a little bit of a risk makes it, uh, gives it this, uh, kind of sense of, this sense of danger that, uh, can be a little, uh, kind of exhilarating. Still, though, it's not very risky. This is a, uh, pretty easy level. And once we are shown the, uh, fact that the two Kirbys can, uh, bounce each other around, we get to use this ability in a, uh, mini-boss battle is a sort of final test of our ability to use the Kirby's bouncing into each other and going every which way like billiards mechanic. Okay, there it is. The diary. This really is annoying here, where you really need kind of... Timing is a big deal, and losing that second that you lose when a Kirby begins charging really throws off the whole enterprise. Oh, well, we're not gonna get it then. Oh, this is the first time we've been on this side of the goal. Sure, I'll try this out then, why not? Come on, diary. God! Okay. We're back on the other side. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get We're, we're gonna get it, for real. For real, we're gonna, we're gonna for sure, forget it! Yes! 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 We'll take a look at that entry later. Wonder Space. I suspect that this is the final level, given how many diary entries were left, or the penultimate one anyway. It sounds like a reference to Spectacle Space, the rather memorable second-to-last level in Kirby Canvas Curse, which, if I remember correctly, was one tough level. I expect this one won't be. Oh! Hello there! You wouldn't happen to know Clacia, would you? I'll take that as a yes. This really does sound like something you'd hear in the anime. It also sounds like something you might hear in a Mother 3. So, I mean, not that that's surprising, but just a little observation. The composer does have a nice style that I think is very distinctive. But how in the world did you s How would I ever get those two stars? Th oh, like that. Okay. Well, sure, I'll, I'll risk it. You wanna- you wanna tempt me? Okay, there you go, I got him. Your temptation was it was successful, but if you wanted to 
get me hurt, then that part didn't succeed so much. And I'm glad it didn't. I, I don't want to get hurt. I suppose that that's Clacia sculpting her soldiers directly out of the clay. I haven't really thought about that before. Life itself springs from this clay. What? Oh! Okay, so I thought I was gonna go down off the ledge there. No! God! We don't want it to see us. Yeah, her monsters are beginning to just be big old lumps of clay. Although I suspect it's going to uh, pop back to consciousness in a moment here. Well, you know, they say that, uh, uh, certain traditions say that God created humans out of clay. So... Come on, there we go. So I suppose it's not, uh, that... Well, at least in terms of the imagery, it's not that unfounded, uh, to have a character be sculpting life out of clay. Take him down! We re that one was really a risk we ran there. What? Oh, it was just a health item anyway. I suppose that's the problem with drawing the lines that you use to move, also breaking apart those, uh, barriers. Oh! No! This is going to be impossible! Okay. Yeah, this is a very difficult, uh... Yeah, this is a very different kind of, uh, difficult from what we had in, um, uh, Kirby Canvas Curse. In Spectacle Space, for example, there were whole areas where there was barely any ground and everything had spikes on it. So, oh, he's got a... No! Oh, damn it! Well, I think that's it. I think that's we're not gonna make it. That's all there is to it. So close! Wow, was that close! I suppose that the game always only gives you one try to do these kinds of things per level, so... Maybe the, uh... Maybe the whole... What? You okay there? Oh, I get it. It was afraid to, uh, eat Kirby while he was bouncing around like that. So... Maybe you can do me a favor. So you could. Oh, Kirby, no time to stay squished right now. We gotta bring the color back to Popstar. And the life, too, apparently, which is intimately connected with color. Nope! Darn, which side was the treasure on? I think it was on the left. So we want the red one. Let's see if I pick correctly. No! Well, we all make mistakes. I'm not gonna get much treasure this time around, am I? Oh, well, that's not gonna work out so well now, is it? Nope. Say there, guy. You know, they might be big and they might be tough. They're pretty stupid. Of all the things that Clacia did put into them, one of these things was not brains. The better for them to serve her mindlessly, I suppose. But hold on, is there anything over here? You've rewarded exploration before, so I think you figure it's worth checking. I guess not. I guess not. This definitely has a much less dark feel than, uh, Canvas Curse did. If this were Canvas Curse, at this point, I mean, you'd be... Like, Spectacle Space, as I remember, it was kind of a creepy level, honestly. I should have stayed on the other side, I would have gotten that star. I just keep thinking that they're, like, going to... Oh, no! 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 Kirby! 
I just keep thinking they're tricking me and they're gonna put the good thing behind the point, behind the point where it looks like I shouldn't go. But clearly, they're not gonna be quite that dirty. And look at all those ominous faces watching us. Makes a guy a little nervous. Oh, well, we just lost uh, something. Oh, that was a close one. Okay, Kirby. Let's get back onto the uh, cable here. Oh, no! Oh, no! I suppose there's some kind of layer of extremely deadly poison immediately off of the bottom of the screen. Oh, that didn't quite work, did it? You know, what? The way those monsters are watching us is kind of creepy, honestly. Oh, it's not- it doesn't just reattach, you have to keep going in the same direction. Okay. The way those monsters are staring is kind of spooky, honestly. Just, just- just a little bit. It's a nice touch, though. Look, man, no risks. We can't run any risks. Because when we run risks, bad things happen to us. That's been the pattern so far, and I see no reason to expect it to change. Oh, hey, hey! So I see that what you're doing there with that gondola, zitz bulb. I don't appreciate that. Frankly, I wish you hadn't done that. And I bet you'd do too, since, you know, you would still be alive if you hadn't done that. Oh. Oh. They're asleep. For a second I thought we saw them springing to life around us. Oh, you. Another one of these guys, huh? One of these thrill seekers, one of these adrenaline junkies. Listen, Mr. Adrenaline Junkie, sir. I don't have time for you. Everybody on Popstar is in a very bad way right now. Very bad way. In fact, I'm kind of worried that they might be... Well, I mean, who knows how reversible this whole thing is going to even be. No! No! Ah. Who knows how reversible this is going to be? Like, you think there's going to be no lasting damage after they've been drained of color? I see no reason to think that. It would seem to me, in fact, to be very plausible that they're going to be, have some kind of lasting damage done to them after they've been frozen for this long. Think about that. Kawasaki? He's not on a cooking show right now. And also on the subject of that, he's on a cooking show? Wow, I'm glad that Kawasaki is moving up in the world too. He's not in a cooking show right now. He is frozen and has no color. Remember, Kirby, we're doing this for everybody. Well, these ones are pretty tall, aren't they? Wait, how would we get that... How would we get that one down there? I want to get that one. What? Well, it looks like I might have a chance to anyway. Yeah, if you touch them at all, they swallow Kirby. So I guess that chest is just impossible. Yeah, it's probably it. It's probably just impossible. Oh, he didn't stick to the rope. I guess I feel like the rope is so sticky that I always expect him to stick to it. I guess I should know better, huh? Should by now, I'm almost done with this game. At least we're not going to be blown right into the goalpost, huh? They're still watching, though. Watching to see if Kirby gets that diary. What?! Oh my god! Ugh. 
restrain yourself. Watch your language, macrophones. Don't say anything. This is an E-rated game. I don't care. Who cares what this stupid garbage is? Oh, it's just those big licky things, huh? No, no. We're doing this... Look, so far, no level has taken me more... Well, actually, I think one level took me... Might have taken me three tries. We're at the final battle. We gotta get the diary. If they didn't want my pace, sense of pacing, my sense of immersion to be totally interrupted, they should not, they should not have made the diaries. Ugh. It's in the middle. It's in the middle. Chest is right there in the middle as it plainly showed me. I cannot mess this one up. This one, I will not mess up. This is too simple for me to possibly, possibly screw it up somehow. What I tell you, can't screw it up. What's gonna happen to that big clay guy? Oh, was taken out altogether. A well animated enemy anyway. Is there anything over this way that we might be able to find? Yeah, there is actually. See? What, what can I say? They really do award exploration. That's a good thing. I'm glad they do. Oh, we're back to this part, are we? Sure. What the? Okay. That was close, but it's fine. We made it. No! No! Why didn't that first one work? There we go. And to reward myself, I can sniff my fingertips. They smell like garlic. Oh yeah, and I got another chest. Wow! I guess if I had to get one, it might as well be him. Let's start with the new music. Let's see what we have, huh? Where is it? Where's the new music? Ah, right, yeah. Oh, we have one from Squeak Squad. Oh, we also already have another from Triple Deluxe. This one is good. This one is good. I think... I'm not going to say I prefer it to the original, but it, it, it's at least as good as the original. As for the legendary Halberd, huh? I was about to say that I didn't like it, but no, this is good, this is good. Squeak Squad is actually a pretty important game on the Kirby timeline, given that that's the game where Meta Knight actually finally reveals that the uh, battleship Halberd has been repaired, and he descends to the bottom of the ocean in order to um, uh, bring it back up. Which is why it's been appearing regularly in the games since then. I thought I already saw that one, though. What's new? Oh, the one next to it. The, duh. They're called warp spaces, eh? These baddies use their tongues to scoop up anything in front of them and spit them out in another place. They must think Kirby tastes like cotton candy because they keep swallowing him over and over. Yeah. Oh! This answers so many questions. It's their tail! Their anus is at the end of their tail! Clearly, though, they don't really have much in the term of digestive systems, do they? Wait, there's still some... Oh yeah, King DDD! How'd I forget about him? Oh wait! Two Kirbys! How'd I forget about them? One of them is winking. 
That's mischievous. A magical device split Kirby in two, but they're both the real deal. Two bodies, one mind, if you know what I mean. They have to work together to accomplish anything, but who wouldn't want to give himself a helping hand? True enough. So that answers that question. They did both share the same consciousness. Still doesn't change the fact that it was, uh, Aileen who was directing them. Also, I think it's kind of weird they're putting Chef Kawasaki in the same category as King DDD and Meta Knight. Let's look at Meta Knight first. This mysterious masked swordsman helms the battleship Halberd. He hasn't always been the most trustworthy ally, but you can count on him when you really need him. He appears in this game as a figurine. Well, thank goodness you cleared up that last detail. Frankly, Meta Knight has basically always been very firmly on the side of good, with maybe the exception of the, um, uh, with maybe the exception of the section about him in Kirby Superstar, but even there, the implication seems to be, in the Japanese original at least, that he wants to, um, uh, defeat King DDD and liberate Dreamland from him. Other than that, Meta Knight has always been a good guy. And the one time it seemed like he wasn't, in Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, well, in a twist, wasn't him. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that, though. Kirby and the Amazing Mirror is great. Go play it. And yeah, that's King DDD, all right. He's uh, about as squat in this version as he was back in the Dark Matter games. It's very crudely uh, sculpted. I feel particularly so. Eh, suits him. The self-proclaimed King of Dreamland loves to swing his giant hammer and breathe in lots of air. He spent countless hours in training in order to learn how to fly just like Kirby. He appears here in figurine form only. I... well, I know that part, okay? It's funny that in that description of him they totally leave out the fact that he's, you know, a bumbling tyrant. Oh well. Personally, I much prefer the versions of King DDD where he's wearing a sort of robe. But that's just me. Well, I think that's everything. I have to say, though, the fact that these creatures are called warp zones... Or, they're called warp spaces. Still, being called a warp space is pretty weird. It doesn't quite seem like the name of a living thing. Well, Aileen, I'm sorry that your secret diary isn't so secret after all, but... Making copies? There's two of everyone in my secret diary. That's a clever thing you did with Waddle Dee there. You see, she really is an artist. She's an eye to this for this kind of thing. She also really loves winking. It melts my heart a little every time. I wonder if Clacia and I will be friends again. I have my doubts, but when I'm with Kirby, I can do anything. So I guess you found a new friend at least. I understand why you feel this way about Kirby, yet you have after all seen him plow through every single obstacle that's come your way. On your own, you never would have made it this far. But with Kirby, well look, I don't blame you. Kirby's pretty dreamy. Now? Well, this is going to be a bit painful for you, Aileen, because we're going to finally go meet Clacia in person. So, let's not make this take any longer than it has to.